Xavier Rattan Mays had 30 as Florida State fought back from an early 14 point deficit, even taking the lead in the second half. But in the end, Bryce Johnson's 39 and Marcus Page's 30 were too much as North Carolina defeated Florida State 106 to 90. We lost to a team tonight that I thought just had a little too much firepower for us. Uh, obviously, they had two players that just, uh, we had a very difficult time defending. We dug a hole for ourselves there early in the game. I was very, I'm very proud of the fact that our guys fought back. I thought they gave tremendous effort. ACC is the best conference in America, and uh, we, we got to bring it every single night. And because um, I, I think it was, it's kind of a shock for for our new guys that um, that teams have, they do such a great job scouting now, and, and they're going to take away the first, second, and third things that you like to do, and, and you're going to have to um, revert to something else. We can't come out and start like that. We're the top three team in the country. So once we got down, the good thing is we didn't like lose our energy. We fought back. It's just we can't come out and play like that. And you got a big time team in front of you and you're at home. I know for a lot of us uh, veteran guys, me, Monte, uh, Dev, and Boris, and those type of guys, um, we've, we've been in these situations before where we've been down uh, and, and caught our way back. And um, uh, we just we just kept everybody positive and uh, just just tried to rally everybody saying that they made their run and uh, it was time for us to make our run and we did that in the first half. Yeah, every game is a learning experience. Um, you always can take something from every game, so this is a big learning experience by boxing out and not allowing 50 points in the paint. Obviously, you don't ever like to start the ACC off 0-2. Uh, obviously, uh, that's, that's life on the road, life in the ACC. Every night out, you got an opportunity you know, to, to, to redeem yourself. And we, as we look toward the, the, the remainder of our schedule, we still have an opportunity if we just continue to keep getting better. The Seminoles will look for their first ACC win of the season on Saturday as they travel to Coral Gables to take on rival Miami. That'll wrap up things for now from the Tucker Center, LaneHurtSeminoles.com.